Hi students, welcome to Jaydev Academy. This is K.V. Ramanjanelu. Today we are going to learn about trigonometry. The basic of trigonometry and how the angles we will find out and how the remaining trigonometric ratios, what are the types of trigonometric ratios and all these things we are going to discussing. First of all, trigonometry. Here, trigonometry is nothing but if you are divide this one, trigonia and metron. Here, these are the three terms. Trigonometry means trigonia metron. Here, trigonometry is nothing but trigonia and metron. Metron. Here, tri means tri is nothing but three. Gonia means nothing but angles and metron is nothing but measuring. Metron is nothing but measuring. So, if you are find out or if you are measuring the three angles of a triangle, we will call it as tri trigonometry. In the trigonometry, we are going to find out three angles. We will measure three angles. Mainly in this chapter, we will use right angle triangle only, mainly we will use. What is the use of trigonometry means? Here, we can find out the heights of some pole stations or towers or height buildings. We can find out the heights. If you know two values, that means one is angle and another one is the distance from the foot of the tower or whatever it may be, we can find out the heights of the trees or heights of the towers, heights of the buildings and distances between the two planets and everything we can find out by using of trigonometry. In this trigonometry, mainly we will use only right angle triangles we will use in this one. In this right angle triangle, here we know that if you take any right angle triangle, for example, if you take any right angle triangle, in the right angle triangle, one side will become the largest side. That one is the largest side. That one we will call it as hypotenuse. That one we will call it as hypotenuse. So this one is, let this one is the right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, this largest side we will call it as hypotenuse. And the remaining two sides will be there. In a triangle, if you take, there are three sides will be there, three vertices and three angles. In the three vertices, three angles and three sides, one of the largest side we will call it as hypotenuse and the remaining two sides will be there. Those two sides will be the name of one is adjacent side and another one is opposite side. So which one is adjacent side and which one is opposite side? Here according to angle, there are three vertices there na A vertex, B vertex, C vertex. If you are taking C as a vertex, C is having angle theta. If you are taking C is having angle theta, then we can say that A B is the opposite side. Here A B we we will say that A B is the opposite side. And A C will becomes adjacent side. A C will becomes adjacent side. Similarly, if you are taking B is having angle theta, if you are taking B is having angle theta, then AC will become opposite side and AB will become adjacent side. So, here adjacent and opposite only will be changing according to the angle. Whatever the angle we are taking, according to that, it will be changing other than remaining this one, hypotenuse is always fixed only. Now see this one. For example, if you are taking a right angle triangle, this one, let it is a right angle triangle. This one is a right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, here, this vertex is having 90 degrees. Let the ABC is the right angle triangle and B is having 90 degrees. Now, which one is hypotenuse? Here, AC is the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. It, one is, it is the fixed value. Which is opposite to 90 degrees. That one is the largest side and the name of that one is hypotenuse. And the remaining two sides there. AB side, BC side. If you take C is having angle. If you are considering C is having angle. Then we will call it as AB as opposite side. And BC as 
adjacent side. Remaining side we will call it as adjacent side. Similarly, if you are taking like this, if you are taking like this, this one is let this one is D E F D E F are the vertices of right angle triangle. In this one, E is having 90 degrees. Then which one is the hypotenuse? What is the largest side? D F is the largest side. So we will call it as D F is hypotenuse. And what about adjacent side and adjacent side, opposite side and adjacent side? Here, if D is having angle theta, D is having angle, then E F will become adjacent. Here, E F will becomes adjacent, and this one D D becomes adjacent right. D becomes adjacent, and here opposite to theta. Here. Which one is opposite? Here opposite to this one. Which one is opposite? Here opposite to D opposite vertex. D opposite is D F. This one we will call it as opposite side. So this one is opposite side. E F is opposite side. So if you are taking these two right angle triangles in this one, adjacent and opposite are changing according to the taking angles. Remaining hypotenuse will be fixed. Whatever the 90 degrees angle there, opposite vertex, that side will becomes hypotenuse. Now, coming to this one, if you are taking any one triangle, if I am taking ABC triangle, this triangle, I am talking about this triangle. In this triangle, there are total three sides are there. How many types of ratios you can write? How many types of ratios? Here, see this one. I am going to write. Different ratios. First of all, AB by AC. I am going to write it as AB by AC. AB by AC. AB is nothing but opposite side here, and AC is nothing but hypotenuse. This one is one ratio, and second ratio. This one is one ratio, and second ratio. If I return BC by AC, BC by AC here. BC is adjacent side. BC is adjacent side, and uh, this one AC is hypotenuse. This one is second ratio, and uh, third ratio. If I am taking AB by BC, AB by BC, AB is nothing but opposite side, and uh, BC is adjacent side. BC is adjacent side. So these are the three ratios, and uh, three more ratios. Here, if I am taking AC by AB, AC by AB, AC means AC is nothing but hypotenuse, hypotenuse by opposite, hypotenuse by opposite, and another ratio AC by BC, AC by BC, so that equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side, hypotenuse by. adjacent side and last ratio bc by ab bc by ab that equal to adjacent by opposite adjacent by opposite so like this we can write six different ratios from the single triangle if you are taking any triangle you will get six ratios these are the maximum ratios according to this ratios they are giving some names they are giving some names how they are giving names according to this one opposite by hypotenuse wherever opposite and wherever you are taking the ratio of opposite by hypotenuse here we are not considering ab and ac it may be change vertex is will be change then automatically letters also will be change but these are the fixed formulas opposite by hypotenuse is the fixed formula this one this one given name it as sin theta This one given name as sine theta. This one is sine theta. So, what is the sine theta? Means opposite by hypotenuse. What is the formula for sine theta? Means opposite by hypotenuse. Next, adjacent by hypotenuse. If you take this ratio, adjacent by hypotenuse. This one is name it as cos theta. This one is name it as cos theta. And the next one. opposite by adjacent if you are taking opposite by adjacent ratio that one is name it as tan theta tangent tan theta sin theta cos theta and tan theta and you are getting their reciprocals here 
you are getting reciprocals here opposite by hypotenuse which is nothing but sin theta if you are reciprocal that means numerator will becomes denominator and denominator will becomes numerator hypotenuse by opposite this one we will call it as cosecant theta this one we will call it as cosecant theta and similarly here adjacent by hypotenuse is cos theta and if you reciprocal this one we will get hypotenuse by adjacent which is nothing but this one we will call it as sec theta or secant theta sec theta or secant theta and the next one if you take opposite by adjacent this is tan theta and if you reciprocal this one you will get adjacent by opposite which is cotan theta cotangent theta or cot theta we will call it as cot theta so totally there are six trigonometric ratios formed one is sin theta means opposite by hypotenuse and cos theta equal to adjacent by hypotenuse and tan theta equal to opposite by adjacent and cosecant theta equal to hypotenuse by opposite which is reciprocal to sin theta and secant theta equal to hypotenuse by adjacent which is reciprocal to cos theta and cot theta is reciprocal to tan theta next what are the relations between these trigonometric ratios there are few relations are there the relations we will call it as here identities we will call it as identities here we will call it as trigonometric identities what are the identities what are the identities here see this one here identities means for example if you are taking sin square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta you will get 1 sin square theta value plus cos square theta value 1 for example if you are taking this one right angle triangle if you are taking right angle triangle we know that this vertex let it is right angle abc is the right angle triangle in this one c is having theta c is having theta and the opposite b vertex we will call it as hypotenuse and c is having angle that means this one will become opposite theta and this one is adjacent theta now if you apply the values for this one sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 here see this one if you are taking sin square theta sin theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse is nothing but ab by here ac ab by ac whole square plus and cos square theta cos square theta is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse here adjacent is bc bc by ac whole square bc by ac whole square so that equal to this square belongs to numerator and denominator ab whole square that means ab square by ac square ab square by ab square by ac square plus here this one ab square by ac square ab square by ac square plus this one will becomes bc square by ac square bc square by ac square if you take the lcm you will get ac square is the lcm ac square lcm and here you will get ab square plus bc square this one is the right angle triangle from this right angle triangle we know that we can apply the pythagorean theorem pythagoras theorem what is the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square equal to sum of the squares of other two sides that means here ac square is always equal to in any right angle triangle hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides so here ac square equal to ab square plus bc square this is the pythagoras theorem so we are going to apply this one ab square plus bc square value ac square so that equal to ac square by ac square ac square by ac square here ac square ac square will get cancel so that equal to 1 so we will get this formula sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 this one is one trigonometric identity similarly we can prove remaining identities also the remaining identities are and second one secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 this one is another identity 
and the third identity cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1 cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1 these are the three identities and other than these identities if you multiply sin and cosecant theta you will get 1 if you multiply cos and secant theta you will get 1 and if you multiply cot and tan theta whatever the reciprocals are there if you are multiplying those reciprocals you will get the value as 1 <coughs> this one identities next comes to this one here if you take any triangle if you take any triangle sum of the three angles should be equal to 180 degrees if you take any triangle sum of the three angles should be equal to 180 degrees here what are the values for the sine values sin the sin 0 degrees 0 sin 30 1 by 2 sin 45 1 by root 2 sin 60 root 3 by 2 and sin 90 1 see he first of all see the values later i will explain how we are getting these values see first of all you should remember sin values once you remember the sin values automatically you will get the remaining values here sin theta equal to 0 these values just remember sin theta equal to this one this one remember sin values sin 0 degrees 0 sin 30 degrees 1 by 2 sin 45 degrees 1 by root 2 and sin 60 degrees root 3 by 2 and sin 90 degrees 1 if you remember these values automatically you can say that cos values cos values you need to write just reverse order of the sin values if you write the reverse order see here let it is theta 0 degrees 30 degrees and 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees see first of all sin theta sin values here sin values you should remember sin 0 degrees value 0 sin 30 value 1 by 2 and sin 45 degrees value 1 by root 2 sin 60 value root 3 by 2 and sin 90 degrees value 1 how can you get the cos values cos values just you should write in reverse order cos values you need to write from right to left reverse order cos 0 value will becomes 1 next this value you should write cos 30 degrees equal to root 3 by 2 and cos 45 degrees equal to 1 by root 2 and cos 60 degrees equal to this one 1 by 2 and cos 90 degrees equal to this value should write 0 degrees next comes to the tan values there is a relation between sin and cos there is a relation between sin and cos see this one tan theta is nothing but sin by cos tan theta we can write it as sin by cos theta tan theta is nothing but equal to sin theta by cos theta how can we write sin by cos theta we know that sin means opposite opposite by hypotenuse and cos means cos is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse cos is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse here hypotenuse hypotenuse will get cancelled we will get opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent which is nothing but tan theta this one is tan theta so tan values you can write it as sin by cos so tan 0 degrees if you want to if you want to tan theta values tan 0 degrees means sin 0 degrees by cos 0 degrees that means 0 by 1 0 by 1 you will get 0 only and 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 2 2 will get cancelled you will get 1 by root 3 and here 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 will get cancelled you will get 1 and here root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 denominator 2 will get cancelled root 3 by 1 is nothing but root 3 and 1 by 0 1 by 0 denominator is having 0 that means we cannot define so not define that value is not defined next comes to the cosecant theta cosecant theta cosecant theta we already said that sin and cosecant are reciprocals so whatever the sin values are there you should write in reciprocal reciprocal means numerator numerator will becomes denominator and denominator will becomes numerator here sin theta sin 0 value 0 
zero is nothing but zero by one. You can write it as zero by one. So similarly, cosecant theta means one by zero. Zero by one is zero. One by zero means not defined. So cosecant theta, cosecant zero is not defined. This one, cosecant zero is not defined. And sin thirty degrees one by two, cosecant thirty will becomes two by one. Two by one is nothing but two. And here one by root two, sin forty five one by root two, cosecant forty five will becomes root two by one. Root two by one. That means root two. Here sin sixty degrees equal to root three by two, cosecant sixty degrees will becomes two by root three. When you write in reciprocal two by root three, and sin ninety equal to one. One is nothing but one by one. If you reciprocal again, you will get same one only. So cosecant value also one only. Now take secant theta. Secant theta is nothing but reciprocal to the cos theta. Secant theta, cos theta, both are reciprocals. Whatever the procedure we did for the sine and cosecant, same model we will write. Or otherwise, whatever the cosecant values are there, you should write in reverse order. You will get the Secant values. So for this one, you will get one secant zero degrees value one, and secant thirty degrees is nothing but two by root three, two by root three, and secant forty five degrees will becomes root two, and secant sixty degrees will becomes this two, and last we will get this one not defined. Zero by one, which is not defined. One by zero. It is. It is not defined. Next, cot theta. Similarly, tan and cot are reciprocals. Tan values and cot values are reciprocals. If you write in reverse order of tan values, you will get the cot values. Tan 90 degrees value not defined. Here, cot 0 degrees will becomes not defined. Here, this one is not defined. Next, tan 60 degrees root 3. Here, cot 30 degrees will becomes root 3. And here. Next, cot 45, tan 45, both values are having one, and comes to this one, one by root three, and the last, finally, we will get zero. So, like this, we can remember the table. If you know the sine values, automatically you will write the remaining values, remaining trigonometric values of cos, tan, sec, cosecant, secant, and cot something. Now, here. How we are getting these values? How sine thirty is one by two? How sine sixty degrees? We are getting root three by two. For this one, I will explain one thing. For example, if you are taking a isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle, anything. So, for example, take an equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all sides are equal. Equilateral triangle means all sides are equal. Let uh, all sides are equal. That means let it is all are having x units. So let it is this one is x units, and this one is x units, and this one is x units. So I am taking an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means nothing but all sides are equal, and also all angles also equal. In this one, I am going to draw a a uh, perpendicular line from the vertex a from vertex a to draw a perpendicular line which is intersect bc line at d which is intersect bc line at d and uh, this one is a equilateral triangle when you draw a perpendicular line from the vertex to the opposite side it will be exactly dividing into two equal parts it will be exactly dividing into two equal parts that means If BC length is x units, then DC will becomes half of this one. That means x by two units. This one will becomes and BD also it will becomes x by two units. BD is x by two units and DC also x by two units. Now, if you are taking any one of the triangle, either ADB triangle or ABC triangle, ADB triangle or ABC triangle. If you are taking anything, here see this one. We know that. In an equilateral triangle, all angles are equal. Each angle will become 60 degrees. So angle B is having here 60 degrees. Similarly, angle C also having 60 degrees. And here, this angle will be dividing into two equal parts because of we are drawing a vertical, vertical line. 
from the vertex to the opposite side we are drawing a perpendicular line this one is dividing into two equal parts this one is 60 degrees here this one will becomes 30 degrees and 30 degrees this one 30 degrees and 30 degrees if you are taking any triangle here 90 degrees 60 degrees 30 degrees 180 degrees sum of the three angles if you are taking this side 90 60 30 180 degrees now you are considering any one triangle for example if you are taking ADC triangle if you are observing in ADC triangle in triangle ADC I am talking about the second part of the ADC here see this one if you are considering ADC triangle ADC triangle in this ADC triangle ADC looks like a right angle triangle and it will be follows a formula which formula it will follows Pythagoras theorem it will be followed from the Pythagoras theorem we can say that hypotenuse square will become so side square plus side square hypotenuse square equal to side square plus side square so that means that means here AC square equal to AC square equal to we can say that AD square plus DC square AD square plus DC square here we know that AC value AC is nothing but X units and we know DC value X by 2 and we don't know AD value here we are going to find out AD value so here AC square AC square is nothing but X square equal to AD square we need to find out AD square value plus DC square is nothing but X by 2 whole square X by 2 whole square that means X square equal to AD square plus x square by 4 this square belongs to numerator and denominator we will get x square by 4 now get this x square by 4 left hand side you will get ad square equal to x square minus x square by 4 if you take the lcm here lcm is 4 4 into x square 4x square minus x square so that equal to we will get 3x square by 4 which is the value of AD square value. Now, what is the value of AD? Here, AD equal to square root of 3x square by 4. This square will become root 3x square by 4. Here, square root of 3x square by 4, this square root will, will uh, um, follows the numerator and denominator. So, if you apply the square root for the numerator, you will get root 3x by root 4 means 2. So, root 3 by 2x. So, AD is nothing but root 3 by 2 into x. We are getting AD value. Now, if you want to find out sin 60 degrees value, sin 60 degrees, what is the formula for sin theta? Sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Here, we are talking about 60 degrees. What is opposite? Opposite is here AD and hypotenuse which one is hypotenuse ac is hypotenuse here ad is nothing but root 3 by 2 into x by ac means ac is x so here x x will get cancelled so that equal to sin 60 degrees value root 3 by 2 which is we already discussed in this one here sin 60 degrees sin 60 degrees equal to root 3 by 2 similarly if you find out sin 30 degrees or cos 60 degrees anything if you find out sin 30 degrees if you are find out sin 30 degrees sin 30 degrees means this one we are taking it as theta then opposite side opposite side is dc and the hypotenuse is ac dc value x by 2 and ac value x so here x x will get cancelled we will get 1 by 2 so like this sin 60 degrees, sin 30 degrees, we can find out, cos 60, cos 30 also we can find out. And if you are taking 0 degrees, 0 degrees means there, there will be no triangle, it will be formed, it will becomes 0. If you want to prove 45 degrees, you need to take isosceles triangle. If you take isosceles triangle, you can find out the 45 degrees value also. So like this, we can find the angles of this one. So today we are going to, we learn about how many trigonometric ratios are there and 
what are the those trigonometric ratios and uh, what are the values how can we find out the values and what are the trigonometric identities we learn in next class we will learn about multiple angles and compound angles thank you